pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Brown. Present. Commissioner Hendrick? Here. Commissioner Lovett? Commissioner Milley? Here. Commissioner Phelan? Here. Commissioner Spatarjan? Commissioner Turner? Here. City Manager Gaber? Here. Thank you. Do I have a motion to excuse Commissioners Lovett and Skatarczyk? I'll make the motion. Support. Second. Motion and support. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next, we have communications. We have 4A, a letter of resignation from Donna Tebow for the Planning Commission. On uh, 4B, we have an imminent danger order prohibiting the sale and distribution of synthetic marijuana and bath salts from the St. Clair County Health Department uh, regarding the uh, K2 and such that we've heard so much about in the news. I have a motion to approve. Accept and file. I'll make a motion to accept and file communications. Support. Motion and support. Any discussion? Hearing. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. I just wanted to thank uh, Donna Tebow for her service on the Planning Commission. Yes. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Um, all in favor of accepting and filing communications, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Carries. Next, we have public comment. Residents are welcome to address the city commission. <laughs> Please state your name and address. Limit your comments to five minutes. And remember, this is your opportunity to speak at a public meeting. Anyone? OK, seeing no one, we will move on to approval of the agenda. And we have a, an amended agenda this evening. <coughs> I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as amended. Support. We have motion and support. Um, I will state that the um, the amendments are a communication of 4B and a consent agenda 8C business license. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the agenda as amended, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next, we have the approval of the City Commission regular meeting minutes from May 17, 2012. Then we accept and file City Commission meeting May 17. Uh, minutes, sorry. Have support. Support. Have a motion and support. Discussion. <coughs> yes. Commissioner uh, Melling. When uh, Lisa made the comment about uh, Chief of Police gas mileage view, it's. 6,200, not 62,000. Page five. A little second, extra zero bullet. there. Just take a zero off there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's not using that yeah, much. If he's using that much, then we definitely have a much larger problem than we thought. Thank you. Okay, so we have amended minutes. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Oh, oh, yes, sir. One other thing. Um, I didn't take it that uh, uh, Commissioner Sikarsik's not here, but I didn't know he said that I was supposed to go to the TIFA board and plead, uh, plead the case about uh, the lights. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's something that I think the TIFA board should take at hand in doing that. I didn't know it was my responsibility that I was supposed to go to the TIFA board. Okay, well, that's, that, this is simply oh, recording okay. what was I'm said. I'm sorry, I thought that was a yes. request. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So all in favor of approving the City uh, the city Commission regular meeting minutes, May 17, 2012, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next, we have the consent agenda. We have TIFA minutes from April 17, 2012. We have a business license application for the Beach Cafe at 102 Broadway, Marine City, which is now open. We have the business license application for Roasted Coffee and Tea Company at 218 South Water, opening soon. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Any discussion? Support. 
Oh, we have a motion to support. Thank you. Any discussion? Um, I'd just like to make one comment. Um, I had received a call today, and I'd like to make a clarification on a rumor that was going around about the coffee shop roasted. Um, at no point in time was the mayor, the commission, nor the police department trying to prevent this um, business from opening, as was going around, and that uh, it was just a matter of the business license not being all approved through the health department and getting it in on time is what held it up. So I'd just like to make that clarification. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to state that um, I will be abstaining from this vote based on my previous connections with the roasted coffee shop. Any other discussion? All in favor of approving the consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Next we have an industrial facilities exemption certificate for Riverside Spline and Gear. Uh, we will have a public notice on, at this time for the purpose of hearing comments from the applicant, residents, property owners, and general public, city assessor, representatives of local taxing units regarding an application submitted by Riverside Spline and Gear requesting an approval of an industrial facilities exemption certificate. Riverside Spline and Gear has filed an application for industrial facilities exemption certificate for the personal property involving the installation of gear hobbing machinery. The following lands contained, containing 2.545 acres and an estimated $450,000 in industrial facilities investments are proposed for the inclusion in said certificate, and that is their property on uh, South Parker here. And at this time, which is 7.07 .07 p.m., we will open the public hearing. Anyone choose to speak? Hearing no one, we will now close the public hearing. Thank you. Well. Shortest public hearing in history, I think. Uh, we have no unfinished business this evening. We'll move on to new business, and that will be a re resolution approving the industrial facilities uh, <coughs> Uh, exemption certificate for the Riverside Spline and Gear. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Gaber to give us a quick overview. Uh, this is a typical resolution uh, that companies can file uh, with regards to personal property um, or the addition of personal property and even some real property that uh, could be uh, linked to that. Um, currently, the company is providing uh, estimated 35 jobs. They are planning on adding an additional five jobs over the first two years of the installation of the equipment. Um, the board has an opportunity to take and provide uh, exemption in uh, a variable number of years. However, the maximum amount is 12. Um, keep in mind, I don't know how long the exemption will stay in place anyways, depending on what the state does. Uh, <laughs> with regards to personal property. So um, it's estimated it's probably worth about 9K in taxes. It's going to take a little bit. Um, so um, it's the board's decision as to whether they want to grant the <coughs> full abatement or partial abatement or no abatement at all. Does that kind of sum it up for you? Yes, it does. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve the... <coughs> Industrial facilities exemption certificate. I think uh, uh, the appropriate motion right. initially would be to determine the number of years. We'll, we'll, uh, would you like to make that motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we uh, that we amend the proposed resolution uh, item three uh, to be a period of twelve years, which is the maximum. Okay. Do I have a second? Support. We have a motion and support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of amending the resolution to 12 years, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Would you like to continue, Mr. Phelan? Sure. I'll, <laughs> I'll make a motion to adopt the resolution um, approving application of Riverside Spline and Gear, Inc. Industrial Facilities Exemption Certificate in the Marine City Industrial Development District, number 2007-01. Support. Okay, we have motion and support. Discussion? Anyone? 
I guess just to follow up on what Mr. Gaber stated, uh, the state is still uh, looking to uh, repeal the personal property tax, so this may not uh, make much of a difference down the road, but it, if for some reason they didn't repeal the personal property tax, then it, then it would make a difference. But uh, this is something that obviously uh, it, it's a tax that, that really is a disincentive for businesses to invest, so I think it's a, you know, it's a good uh, it's a good thing. Well, and to that end, I'll, I'll add that I think $9,000 for five jobs is not uh, not so bad. No. So, anyone else? Hearing none, all in favor of adopting the resolution approving the, um, the industrial facilities exemption certificate for Riverside Spine and Gear signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Thank you, Riverside, for taking this uh, initiative to grow. Next, we have introduction of Ordinance 12-01, Water and Sewer Rates, and Ordinance uh, to amend Section 8 of Ordinance Number 57 relating to water and sewer rates and continuing debt service charges. Uh, effective July 1, the rates would be as follows. Water usage, 597 per thousand, and sewer usage at 474 per thousand. Uh, this is an uh, increase as... as Three uh, percent. Yes, a, a, a cost of living, cost of living basically, basically, and yeah. stipulated by our charter. Yeah. So, anyone? No motion to approve. Or I'll done. make a motion to approve. Introduce. Or introduce. I'm introduce. sorry. Introduce. introduce. Yes. Introduce. Okay. We have a motion to introduce second. the ordinance. We have a second. Any discussion? Yeah, I'd just like to state that I, I think this is just basically the rate of inflation. That's all. It's an inflationary right. adjustment. So what that means is the funding is basically stable. Just an adjustment yeah. for we have We have did some other things to help keep this, keep the rates at the minimum allowable by our charter. So that was the minimum increase that um, was allowed. Okay. Commissioner Milley? Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you about uh, the meter size. Is that re okay referring to your pipe that goes into your home or business? Yes. Yes. Okay, so how does that fluctuate like with the water usage 579? Say if your house has a three quarter pipe at 328, how, how does that? Probably 95% of all the residential homes have five eighths meters. Those larger meters, um, one inch meters would be like a lawn sprinkler system, and then the larger ones are either industrial or like Commercial. schools. Keep in um, mind, this is, a, very large this is a flat rate. And that's a flat rate. quarterly rate. Quarterly rate. Okay. Because it's for the debt service. It has nothing to do with usage. So when you get your own personal water bill and you take a look at it and there's a charge on there that says debt service, your bill has a two dollar ninety eight cent charge every three months. Okay, and I just want, I, I just w didn't know if that was an extra charge because of the size of the pipe in your home. These or? charges have been on on the water bills for decades, you know, twenty plus years. Yeah, it's and it's longer. it's related to bonding or borrowing of money that we have done right. in the past. Okay, All right. I just uh, want clarification. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? All in favor of introducing the ordinance for relating to water and sewer rates, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. Motion carries. Okay, next up we have the Department of Public Works five yard dump truck. Uh, first, we have a request to waive competitive bidding. And we have a letter from. Okay. What you have in the package is off the state website. So they've done all of the competitive bidding up front. Uh, we typically buy off the website. Uh, if you remember, we bought uh, the last riding lawnmower that we purchased came off the same website. Um, I went, when I talked to Rick this afternoon about this, uh, the, this vehicle is being ordered through that website, but it's being ordered along with Port Huron, two other communities, as well as Marine City. So they're leveraging five to seven pieces of equipment already as part of a single order. So. Um, Although, according to our charter, we still have to um, waive the competitive bidding so that we can purchase the truck. This is a budgeted item. We've been saving for three years now to get to this point to make the purchase. 
so we want to make the purchase and we'll be getting rid of, I believe it's an 89, it's an 89, 1989 dump truck will be coming off our books and as this one replaces it. Okay, do I have a motion to waive competitive bidding? Before we start any discussion, we oh, need to get yeah. into a motion to waive. I'll make it the motion, motion to waive competitive bidding. Second. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and second. And Commissioner Melly, you had something you wanted yeah. to add? Uh, uh, regarding uh, the old dump truck, are we getting any money for that old dump truck? When we uh, well, we usually put it up for bid, and somebody will, somebody will bid on it. It'll be a sealed bid process, just like we did with uh, any other vehicle we had, either from PD or DPW. So. And we're only talking one new vehicle. That's it. Just yeah. the one new vehicle. Yeah. Um, I believe what's in the budget right now is 130,000. So we're going to come in at 107. There may be a little bit of upfitting to it. So we won't spend everything that we put in put away for. Anyone else? Um, the other question is, um, I know we're saying that we're not, we're going to bypass uh, competitive bidding. Have we done a research and then? We're not bypassing competitive bidding. The state goes out and gets a purchase order for all kinds of equipment, okay? It's kind of like uh, if you worked for a company and they went to an office, they said, they went to five different office supply places and they said, bid on your catalog, what's the best pricing? So they've already determined the pricing for this. Typically, we have never been able to beat the state website. Just okay. can't do yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm saying yeah. I, I don't mind doing uh, yeah. whatever, but no. if we did our homework just to, you know, well, like I said, Port Huron and two other townships plus ourselves are, we know, have orders that are either have orders or getting ready to place orders right now for the same vehicle. So we, what we did is we looked at what was already out there and we said this one is so close to what we want, we'll just we'll stick with this one. So. <clears throat> Do we know that gives us a better price by, by grouping with other communities? I don't, I don't guess I don't understand how that influences us. What, the state? No, the, the state. fact that well, we're, I'm just saying we're, that we're not combining only, with five We're not other. the only one that's going out there. There's four or five other different communities that are using the same bid list. Okay. Or the, the same process. But that doesn't influence the price. No. Okay. No. If we looked at slightly used, and trying to make a savings there. Because you don't know what you're going to get. You don't well, know how it's going to beat up. Well, I understand that, but we're not going over the road with this thing on a major, I mean, it's, it's not something that's used on a daily, like the police cars where they're getting constant daily use. Mm -hmm. These get? Yeah, they do get some use. I'm not, I'm not denying they get, that. They get use. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot of, well, I could go to another municipality and see what they're going to offer up, but you know what it's going to be? They're junk. Well, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to say that that's not true, um, but I, I can say there's a lot of businesses that are folding around the country and around the state that may have equipment that's not so abused because they just went into debt and moved but, on. But then, if I found something somewhere, I'd still have to have somebody go evaluate. Right what it looks like and by the time you're done like I said we're giving we're going to retire in 1989 right. that they bought new mm -hmm. so we get 20 years of use out of these vehicles so it'd um, be 23 I would stick with what works right now okay it would be my recommendation okay, okay. is this something that we need to act on right now or if we took two weeks to look around as the mayor is suggesting or or do you just feel that there's no value? I, I don't I mean I can look around but again unless we go send somebody to go look at or pay somebody to evaluate the vehicle what are you gonna get you know you've wasted two weeks okay. is what it is uh, Rick's experience and even mine with other stuff you're gonna get somebody else's junk if it's up for sale it's the worst in their stable you know, otherwise it's a foreclosure or a repossession or, or what have you, and you still don't know what you're going to get. You know. I don't think wasting two weeks is a critical thing since it's been on the books for three years. I, I, I'm just not a fan of waiving competitive bidding. We seem to do it all but the time. But we're not waiving competitive bidding. Okay. 
we are going to a state website that has done the competitive bidding. Our charter requires us to do this because we haven't accepted sealed bids. That's the only reason why we're doing that. But the state website has done all of the competitive bidding with the major companies. So keep that in mind. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Anyone else? Okay. All in favor of waiving competitive bids, signify by saying aye. Hmm. Roll call or? If, if it's not unanimous, then it's it's not it's unanimous. Unanimous. it fails. Oh. It doesn't go anywhere. All opposed, say nay. 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 Motion fails. So that will. Okay. I said aye. Then I'm going to ask the board what you want me to do. Um, I would suggest that we do actually, in, in I, I would suggest that we do actually look at used and, and if we, you know, if it costs us five hundred, six hundred dollars to have a a quality evaluation of a used vehicle, or three or four, and it saves us thirty or forty thousand. It's five hundred, six hundred dollars per vehicle that we've spent wisely. So well, I, that would be my uh, suggestion. Now keep in mind, I'm going to use this criteria when we look. I understand that because otherwise, it's not going to meet the criteria of the city. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So Absolutely. You with this? Huh? You get a guarantee with this. I get no guarantee. I understand that. I understand that. Okay. I'm, I'm just. And I'm sure. I'm not being negative. I'm sure I'll bring back the same proposal two weeks from now because it just. Won't and be and if you are, that's fine. I just, I just want to make sure we cover the, those bases, and that's I think fine. the rest of us feel the same way. So. All right. That will take us to a discussion of the July fifth, two thousand twelve meeting date. At which time is the day after the annual July 4th, which is a federal holiday and a time that there's many vacations and people out of town, and typically we do not hold that meeting um, due to the holiday. So uh, do I have a motion to cancel the July 5th, 2012 meeting? I'll make a motion to cancel the July 5th, 2012 meeting. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Discussion, please. I'm trying to rush things. No discussion. All in favor of canceling the July 5th, 2012 meeting, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, next up, we have board appointment to the election commission. The elect election commission's membership consists of the city clerk, city attorney, and one member of the city commission. Commissioner Phelan currently serves on that commission, however, due to his candidacy for the state representative for Michigan's 81st district, he will no longer be eligible to serve on that commission. So at this time, we need an appointment of a commission member to the ele election commission. Do I have first any volunteers? I'll volunteer. We have a volunteer. All in favor of uh, Lisa Hendricks serving as the Board appointment to the election commission. Signify by saying aye. You need the motion. Oh, that's right. We need a motion. I'll make a motion. We <laughs> appoint Commissioner <laughs> Hendrick to the election commission. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion. Anyone want to fight her for the position? Yeah, I didn't figure. <laughs> um, I was going to volunteer next, so thank you, Elisa. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, all in favor of. Commissioner Hendrick being appointed to the election commission signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Takes us to financial business disbursements including payroll of $232,594.91. I make a motion that we approve the expenditures as presented. Support. I have motion in support, and I'm going to say we can't have Commissioner Lovett miss any more meetings because we're getting a little slow on the motions I tonight. Know. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten into that pattern. Yes, we have. <laughs> Diana, we, or Diane, we miss you. Uh, okay, we have motion in support. Discussion? Nothing. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Hendrick? Yes. Commissioner Milley? Yes. Commissioner Phelan? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Mayor Brown? I will say yes. Motion carried. Thank you. That takes us to the city manager's report. Um, I've been out of town this past week on a family emergency. Um, my wife is leaving town tomorrow. She's going to be gone for a while with her father, so, but I will be here. Uh, 26 Mile Road, King Road, Chartier Paving Project. Its proposed start date was July 9th. 
it looks like they're going to pull it ahead to June 21st. Okay, so you're going to see some disruption on the first thousand feet or 1,200 feet of 26 Mile Road, all of King Road, and all of Chartier. What was that date again? Uh, June 21st June 20. is what they're estimating now. Contractors look like they can get in here sooner. Along with that, we had a portion of Chartier paving that was going to be taken out of our um, major road fund. Uh, Kurt Weston, our rep on the county road commission, works some magic, and now we only got to come up with 20% of our portion of it, plus a little bit for inspections and the replacement of the signs. So that's a big help because that fund is getting a little tight between the bridge and the South Bell paving and what have you, so that'll take a little pressure off that. Um, I just have to get them a letter, which I'll write them tomorrow, stating that the city is up for the 20%. So I said, if we we're up for 100, we're up for 20. Um, there is also a repair going on on a bridge about halfway between here and 94 on 26 Mile Road. That started on Monday and will be going through the end of August. They even have stoplights set up because one side of the bridge will be removed. Uh, and that's probably, if it didn't happen today, will happen by the end of the day tomorrow. So um, there's going to be disruption in that area, although the traffic lights seem to help them a little bit. Um, and I don't know if you've driven by 300 Broadway, but they're bricking away over there. It's, uh, they've got a really nice match with the mortar and the brick, so they're doing a good job. So. And that's all I got right now. Okay. Any commissioners want to... Commissioner Hendrick for yes. Commissioner Lovett. <laughs> yeah, I got a list here. I'll take your place so you feel all at home. A um, couple things. Um, signs and, work, and placement of signs like the music festival signs, they're putting them in the right of way, and I just want everybody to make sure you can't put your signs between the curb and the sidewalk that's considered the right of way. You have to take those signs and you move them out or they'll be removed by city ordinance. But I see a lot of them out there, so I'm hoping anybody that's got one Please try to move your sign out of the right of way. Um, next, um, I know at one time we were going to supposed to see samples to the windows and that of City Hall, and I also had somebody call me about the mortar. I know you just mentioned it, but my understanding is it doesn't match, and so um, and somebody wanted to view it and wasn't allowed to view it. I don't know who wanted to view it. I was like I said, I wasn't here last week, but I looked at mortar that had been set. You know, for three or four days now, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it it's looks tough to, really it's good. tough to tell, okay. tell the difference between that and the original. Okay. I now, I, now I will say the first day that it's up, and the first yeah. two days that it's up, it does not look real great. Okay. But once it dries, dries it's out. drying it's right in yeah. really nice. Okay. All right. And Michael, Kurt, I know they they have produced eight or ten different colors, and this was the one that he selected, so it wasn't the okay. crew out there selecting. As so long as work. somebody's monitoring that, I just yeah. want to make sure. Because I get those phone calls and, you know, well, no, I'm trying don't. to keep up on it. Another thing, I understand a time capsule was found. There was. There was a copper box in a small tube. It's over at uh, the Guy Center right now. Uh, my understanding is that they're going to put it back into the cornerstone when they get ready to, to brick that area, or they're going to do some hype around that. Um, Who's they? Well, the committee, the subcommittee for 300 Broadway. Should that come back here to make sure we're all in agreement with Yeah, them? right now, nobody's open in a box. We just have it. I just want to make sure that it comes here to make sure everybody's aware of what's going on so yeah. that there's, again. They're going to, they want to do some hype around that, but it's going to go back in there because it looks like it was only put in in the early 70s. Okay, well, I'd yeah. just like to see all that come through here as a, an issue. Um, I turned in the corner of St. Clair and Mary. Is that going to be on a list to get fixed because of that issue of the corner? It's not accessible for handicap. I don't know. I mean, well, Remember, well we I don't, don't have a, 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 an official list, but uh, we could certainly it's add It's really bad. The, the gas company there um, used that corner last year to do some work, and so they had all their equipment there, and they were supposed to kind of fix that as part of the deal, my understanding is. And so, but right now, Anybody could not get off. It's very hazardous well, the way it's the gas company cut. damaged it, we'll get the gas company back over there to fix yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know how they put a little patch on there to try to do it, but it's very dangerous. And I guess some of the kids. What, what corner again? It's the corner of St. Clair, Clair and Mar South Mary. Okay. 
Um, next, I had somebody approach me and ask me if it could be looked into that the railing from the Biff Bridge, whether that could be taken off and reused, maybe down in the park along the water there is additional railing. <clears throat> it's just a suggestion from somebody. I think we need to look at everything we can. <coughs> to And then my last one is the code enforcement officer. I've got three that are still outstanding. Um, I know we've discussed these three. Not getting any resolution. One's been going on since February. How are we going to get this done? One of it's the, a lot of it's the lawns, you know, and I don't think people should have to put up with this in the neighborhoods of, the one was, the grass was honestly got this high. Looks like somebody weed whacked the front of it, probably because they got tired of it, but it's not been taken care of. So I still have 538 Mabel that needs to be taken care of, 166 South Bell River that needs to be taken care of, and 610 Bruce because the brush piles and that are the problem with uh, harboring the skunks and the vermin from the area, from the neighbors. So those are the three um, that we still need to address, and those have been on the books for quite some time. So I wish the code I'll guy would... Find uh, out where we are with them. He needs to get on the stick with some of these because it's t the, these three have taken way too long. The one on Bruce has been there since February, and these other two I turned in, um, well, the South Bell River one I've turned in three times now. This is fourth or fifth, and I'm the second time on Mabel. And those two of those uh, he no, assured you last time. They've never been cut at all that to your knowledge? No. Okay. Two of them they've been assured. I mean, I know we talked about it last time, right around Memorial Weekend, they were supposed to have been done, and they haven't been taken okay. care of. Could you say Mabel or Maple? Mabel. It's a, it's a vacant. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, on, on Maypole, I yeah, was no, like, Mabel. I don't recall One of that, the neighbors but. cut the front because they couldn't take it anymore, but the back, sure. which also backs up to another house, is bad and with the mosquitoes and everything else. So we need to get these done a little quicker than, I realize that he has to do 10 days, but these three yeah. have well, been and way longer Once they've been done once, then it goes much faster after yeah. that. But so we'll find out where we're at. I just wish he'd kind of look around and get these settled once and for all for us, if you could, on those three. And that's all I got. Okay. Anyone else? Mr. Uh, I'll be brief. Sunday, there was a water main break. I believe that's Market Street. Uh, uh, and I was watching the DBW people working, and I thought, I asked them about, uh, is there going to be a water alert uh, to boil the water or anything of the sort like that? And they are sharing with me that because of their expertise, they do it live with the water running, how they sealed it up. And they were working there on Sunday. And also, to my acknowledgement, um, one of the guys would confronted me. Um, I'm very concerned about for the unions, and I said about establishing wages. And uh, he confronted me. He says, Ray, it sets the standard. And that's where I need to be corrected, that the union sets a standard, and that's why I'm very concerned about that, and also for the safety of the men. Having three people to run a project, you need a fourth man as a safety guide. And that's something that is just something to take into consideration. If we do get rid of um, Rick, in case of emergency, we have to hire somebody on the spot to have a fourth man there uh, because for a safety factor, if you have a cave-in or something of the sort, to me, a life is very important. And I appreciate the guys there who were there working on Sunday. And the other thing is, in case if we did have a, an emergency water to boil our water, how would we know about it? How, how, how would the communication get across that we have an emergency to boil our water or something? Typically, we'll try to run something on radio and TV if we can. It goes so, through but, Comcast also. Yeah. They do an emergency. But, I mean, if it's they don't the go same door day, door I mean, uh, do we have a broadcast that uh, on WJR, or I'm just saying a radio station? Yeah, to, there's there's that a that local, say, list of local ones list that local we use. stations that we use and the newspapers. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point were, um, what, two weeks ago where that big water main break, um, mm -hmm. it was what, Shelby. 20, 12, Shelby Township, okay, that was broadcasted on the news, and I'm just thinking, we don't have any communication. Yes, we do. We have a very good communication 
system. Uh, it, it goes out through the county system and it does hit the Detroit markets, it hits the local radio markets, it hits Comcast as Commissioner Hendricks said, Channel 6 puts it up and the newspapers get the alert and publish it. Yeah. Plus we, plus we have the FM alert system through the county that if, if anybody has it, but yes, yeah. it gets it gets broadcast get as broadcast well as any other community because I I just felt like you know what um, if you have to boil the water for the next two days by the time it got on Comcast <laughs> no, it, I it mean goes uh, on right it away. happened on Sunday and if you got the information on Tuesday a lot of good that do you you know and typically they'll reduce the pressure in the line but they'll never shut it completely off that's why they're able to fix yep. it with well water that's what he said flowing. they had yeah. the water flowing yeah. Yeah, but they, they reduced the pressure down but as long as it doesn't go to zero you're and okay good. and then really as long as it doesn't go to zero for more than x amount of time you're, right. you're still okay so, okay because yeah. um, i do appreciate the men and i do think that they're doing a fine job and i commend them and um I really hope that we come up with another plan um, that i like to keep Rick on the board um, with our community. Thank you. Right. Anyone else? Uh, congratulations to Marine City High School class of 2012. <laughs> More specifically, one graduate, Shelby Newman. That's it. Okay. Mr. Phelan, you um, I'd just like to thank everybody for their hard work. Uh, Getting ready and uh, and getting everything looking good for the uh, under the radar group that was here yesterday filming. Um, I think we can expect that to air in the fall sometime. I think this is a it's a testament to uh, the hard work that a lot of people have done uh, trying to bring in track new businesses and uh, in the investment that uh, both the city and uh, private owners have made uh, working together to. Uh, you know, achieve economic development goals. So, just like to thank everybody for that. Okay. Well, that leaves me. And I'm going to be a little long-winded. I know we're trying to make this a short meeting, but I am going to be a little bit long-winded, primarily because I have a few things that really need to be said. First of all, I too would like to congratulate the class of 2012 at Cardinal Mooney and at Marine City High School, and to Shelby Newman, <laughs> Commissioner Turner's stepdaughter. Yes. Right? Yes. And Kim's daughter. Um, second, I would like to wish John and, and the Gaber family well with the situation they're going through right now. And uh, we've got your back. Don't worry. Thank We're you. here for you. Um, next thing I want to address is new businesses in Marine City. Uh, we, we approved two more this evening. We approved a growing business uh, tax exemption tonight. Uh, today I heard of two more that want to come to town. We've got a couple that we approved the last time that I don't believe have opened yet. At least one of them hasn't. The spa hasn't opened yet. But um, we are a growing community, and that's why Under the Radar was so impressed when they came yesterday, because of the things that, that are going on. I was speaking to a business owner this morning uh, who was saying that, you know, they moved into Marine City last year because they see that Marine City and the way we're doing things as people as a government, as businesses, is at the forefront of the renaissance that they believe the country will have to go through. And that is going more and more to small mom and pop type businesses because we can't sustain the high overhead and the, the conglomeration that we've tried to do in the past with everybody having multi-million dollar homes and that sort of thing that we have to kind of bring it back home like it used to be. And that's, that's how the country got out of the Depression in the 40s was in the, in the small communities and a resurgence. And I, and I think Marine City does sit at the forefront of that. The filming yesterday with Under the Radar did go well. Um, we had some complaints from a few business owners that, you know, they weren't chosen to be visited. But I, I want to assure everybody that it wasn't anybody in Marine City that chose where these guys went to film. They came into town saying, this is where we're going. This is what we're going to do. But every business got the outside of their business taped. Now, will it all make it to Channel 56? No. Twelve and a half hours worth of filming, condensed down to 11 minutes on air, is not going to please every single person. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. So you may or may not see some of those businesses on there. 
But I, I, to that end, I wanna to speak to business owners in, in town. There's a couple that stand out in my mind right now that have had a little bit of an attitude with people, particularly some of the city officials. They, they've been treated rather poorly and I'd like to apologize on behalf of the business owners that don't treat people poorly um, for that behavior. We're all in this together and the city has to do what the city has to do in order to follow the law. And at the same time, just because you've got a business in town doesn't mean you run the town. And there's a couple different businesses here in town that have an attitude that nobody loves me, everybody hates me, I might as well go eat some worms. And that's not the case. They're, everybody is getting a fair shake, whether they want to believe it or not. Everybody's getting a fair shake, whether it's from the city officials, whether, whether it's from this commission, or whether it's from the other people in town. It's how you as the business owner choose to project yourself how successful your business will be. And I think it's important that everybody remembers that. You are your best advertisement. Just like I'm my best advertisement, Commissioner Phelan is his best advertisement, and the rest of the commissioners are their best advertisement. And what I think and what I've heard, what I heard yesterday from probably 15 different people while I was downtown was that we have a commission now that is one of the best ever. And I heard that from people that I never expected to hear that from. I heard praise for every single commissioner yesterday, individually. And I was really happy to hear that because that told me that we're all advertising ourselves the right way. And we're supporting our city the right way. And one of the things they said was we have discussion and we talk about things and we don't always agree, but they see us speaking to one another civilly 99% of the time. And that's what's important in this community is that everybody treat everybody the way they want to be treated. So with that in mind, I just want people to realize that, you know, the temperatures go up and so do your tempers, they'll flare, but don't, don't let that dictate how you're gonna treat other people. It's, it's important that everybody treats everybody fairly. And when you walk into our city offices, remember, you're not the only person here. They have 4,200 residents and then all the business owners that do and don't live in town here that they have to tend to. Not to mention, on a daily basis, monitoring what's going on in the, in the political world so they can see what changes they have to make to today's elections or taxes or revenue streams or whatever else. So they have a lot of work to do and I think they're doing a fine job with it, uh, with what they're up against. So just keep that in mind as you're out there, treat people fairly. Uh, and with that, I'll hush up and again, have a, have a nice couple weeks here, everyone. We have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Thank you all. Have a good night.